In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add parallax to your 7.1 sites without code. And we're going to take a look at all of Squarespace's new background image effects. If you've been looking for parallax on Squarespace 7.1, you've probably come across my blog post where I have written code that helps you create the parallax effect in Squarespace 7.1. Now, it's a, a pretty good solution, but it does come with its drawbacks. For example, it doesn't work on mobile and also image focal points no longer apply. So I wanna go over a no code solution to adding parallax effects to background banners in Squarespace. So Squarespace just released background image effects. So if we edit our section and click the edit icon and then go to background, at the bottom we now have image effects. And if we want a parallax effect, we can click on this option that says tilt. And if we save that, we can then see that we get a subtle parallax effect in the background. Now, one of the drawbacks of this method that I see is that it has a really nice momentum scrolling effect to where if I scroll fast and then stop, the image keeps going with its momentum and then comes to a halt, but we don't get that on the way up. So it's as if we get a nice parallax scroll on the way down, but then when we scroll up, the parallax is just kind of tied to our scroll position. We don't get that nice momentum scrolling that we had on the way down. So that's a limitation that I see, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. And we, we now finally get kind of a nice parallax effect in 7.1. Another drawback is that you have to add this to every section individually. They don't have an option to add this as a site-wide style. So a little bit of a pain in the butt to have to add it individually to every single section, but at least we now get it built in and it doesn't come with the limitations that my original code method came with. So the tilt effect is how you would add the traditional parallax effect to Squarespace 7.1 but there's a bunch of other background image effects and I wanna go over each one of those with you as well. With the liquid effect, it creates this kind of weird wavy bulgy effect and it's kind of an interesting look. I'm sure you know, someone will find use for this with one of their designs. Film grain creates this film grain over the image that kind of makes it look like it's like on an old TV or something similar to that. Refracted lines is a really cool effect. It works similar to parallax, except you get these refracted lines through the banner images. So it's a pretty cool stylistic look and you still get the parallax on scroll. Refracted circles is a really cool image effect where the offset responds to your mouse position. So you can see we're getting a cool kind of rotational parallax depending on where our mouse is over the image. So a really cool, background effect that provides more interaction than any of the other background effects do. The pan effect is exactly like the tilt effect, except it parallaxes horizontally instead of vertically. So kind of a nice change of pace from the normal vertical parallax that we're used to. And finally, the zoom effect gives us a really nice zooming out of the image as we scroll down the page. So very nice, kind of subtle, Again, in the parallax family, I'd say subtly zooming out the image as the page is scrolled down. So that is our look at Squarespace's new background image effects. Hopefully this helps you decide which background image effect you want to use for your website and also lets you know that there is now parallax on 7.1 that you can achieve without code. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.